I'm not a spice girl. I don't believe in girl power. I believe the power of God in females' lives and in male lives in case someone tries to say, you just said women and not men. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You should really speak as a whole, to be honest. But there seems to be different issues and the same issues between groups. Men have their own issues. Women have their own issues. And then you have the issues that both of them have. And the issue is you're all against the father. And so you're having all these crazy lives that are leading onto nothing but destruction. And many people think the way the end of that destruction is basically to become like the nations around them who only care about materialism, money, and other things that don't matter. These people are miserable. You need to understand that. They are miserable. They are. That's why you go into a place and they're all staring at you. I mean, I literally walked into a Dollar General today and they were all just looking at me. I'm like, I just walked in. I literally did not do anything else. <laughs> but the thing is, these people have spirits of envy and hatred and jealousy all up in their being. That's why they do those kinds of things, all right? I don't care how much money they have. They have absolute hatred inside. So don't be fooled come to the most high not only will he provide for you i mean david had palaces these people were all over europe with the finest things all right the thing is you're not to put it before the most high it's basically for the most high's glory and not for your own which people don't understand that you think that you can go into a, a fancy restaurant and wear a five-piece suit and holy oh, the play mignon and i'm driving in a mercedes this week and you think you got the finest things and you're above other people it's all you're doing no that is not what the father is looking for and he will shut you down and that's why he said it's hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven because they'll put their riches before him but just like nebuchadnezzar he was humbled nebuchadnezzar refused to help out the needy and so the father's like all right all right you don't want to help out the needy i'm gonna put you in a field you're gonna eat the dew of the grass until you learn who put you in your place in the first place? And you're going to learn to respect the needy and to give to them. So, don't think that you're too high-minded because you own things. And I'm driving an SL class. And I've got a Louis Vuitton purse. God does not care, alright? So, just take that as a warning. Be blessed by...